I am Matt Hill. I am the curriculum designer here at MRU. This is our revamped supply and demand unit plan. This is day five equilibrium. So we covered the demand curve. We we covered what moves the demand curve. We've done the same with the supply curve. Now on day five, we're going to put the curves together to see the equilibrium. And then we're also going to cover shifts, okay? If demand shifts, if supply shift, what happens to that equilibrium price and quantity. So basically the first half of this lesson is just covering the equilibrium. And then the second half is covering those shifts. Okay. And the idea here is how does it reach that equilibrium? You know, where supply, the quantity supply and the quantity demanded are equal. And so we have these sort of questions. You're running bakery, you set the price too high. You have a bunch left over. What do you do? You're going to lower the price the next day. You sell out too early. What are you going to do? You're going to raise the price the next day. Then we have a video that kind of goes through how markets reach that equilibrium. Okay. And then another idea in the video um, that is important to th for students to think about is, you know, ultimately how prices are determined is because buyers compete against each other and sellers compete against each other. They don't compete against one another. Ultimately, buyers are competing against buyers and sellers are competing against um, sellers. This is clearest at an auction, all right, where the buyers are are competing. But you can also think about it, you know, you know, in a house where, you know, the highest bidder gets the house. Ultimately, that is what's going to determine our, our equilibrium. And you know, how how things arrive at an equilibrium, you know, like if the price is too low, there's going to be one of more, there's going to be more buyers that want it um, than sellers want to provide it. And so buyers are going to bid up the price until it gets to the equilibrium. If the price is too high, and there are more sellers than buyers, but it's more quantity supplied than uh, than people want to buy, then the sellers are going to compete by lowering prices. So ultimately, this is the process that gets us to the equilibrium is buyers competing with buyers and sellers competing with sellers. And that's how we get it. So more questions, more questions for the, from, from the video. And then just sort of a review slide. And this is in their student activity sheet, thinking through, okay, if the price is too high, what's going to happen? If the price is too low, what's going to happen? Okay, we're going to have up here, uh, when the price is so when the price is ten, the quantity demanded will be thirty. When the price is ten, the quantity supplied will be will be ten. So we'll have a shortage, and then this one goes through a surplus when the price is too high. All right, so we've done the equilibrium. So we've got basically, with, you know, and I again got gone through it really fast, but I, I, with the video, with the questions, with the student activity sheet, you know, it'll be an appropriate amount of time. So we've. Establish the equilibrium where price, um, where supply and demand cross this equilibrium price and quantity. Okay, but what happens when there's a shift in the supply or the demand curve? Okay, and to introduce this, we talk about this um, incident in 2018 when a patent ends, and now new suppliers can enter the market. Okay, and so you can ask the students, well, what do you think what happens to the medication if the patent ends? What do you think is going to happen to medication now? They're probably going to say the price is going to go down, but they maybe haven't thought through, you know, how that happens. Okay, and so we have this storyline game to get a, bring this to life. If you haven't seen these, how they work is I gotta skip this. You know, so you're drawing a line. I'm just gonna guess here, and then you submit. And it shows you what happened to that price. Okay, and we can see this price goes down after those competitors come in for um, the asthma. And so what has happened here is because there are new sellers, the supply curve has shifted out and that's bringing the price down. Okay. And so the students can sort of understand this intuitive, this intuitively, okay, when there's more sellers, that's going to move the price down. Okay, and then we ask them, all right, what are the demand shifters? What are the supply shifters? What was the shifter in the asthma question? Okay, we go through the answers and then we put it on a graph for them. All right, this is what happened. This is why the price of those inhalers went down is the supply curve shifted out as those new sellers entered the market and we go from this equilibrium to this new equilibrium with a lower price, higher quantity sold in the market. Then we cover, okay, what happens when supply decreases? We're gonna go to this equilibrium, higher prices, lower quantity. And then the other shifts, if there's a demand increase, okay, that means the price will go up and the quantity will go up. And a demand decrease, price will go down and the quantity 
will go down. And then, you know, so these are the, if you're analyzing what's going to happen to an equilibrium price and quantity, this is what the students have to ask themselves. All right, an event happens. Is this going to move supply? Is this going to move demand? Which way is it going to move those? And then you graph it. Okay, I'm going to move my demand curve and you see what happens to the price and quantity. And we have a ton of interactive practice. We definitely have three sets of this plus holiday editions. So lots and lots of practice for the core supply and demand um, activity, which is, all right, we have equilibrium. We get an event, what happens? Okay. In that case, demand shifts. Right. Oil, oil producers think the price of oil is gonna increase in six months, a little lower supply today. Okay, supply shift, all right. And again, we have a bunch of sets of those. So, you know, we've only linked the first one, but you know, if you need more, they're there. Okay, just a simple event for the students to practice this on, um, you know, for the exit ticket, just again, just to gauge understanding. You should have a pretty good idea on the understanding by, by seeing how they do on those um, interactives uh, as well. Get our supply, demand, and equilibrium unit plan here, or click for the next video.